Hello everybody, and today we are at the Market Parking Garage in Roanoke, Virginia. And this is a name that a lot of you may already recognize, but if you don't know, this is a parking garage in Roanoke, Virginia, located at 25 Church Avenue. And this garage is well known for having the Dover Impulse hydraulic elevators. So today we're going to look around this garage on the inside and out, and just see what else there is in this garage besides the elevators. Now one thing to note is there is a Hampton Inn & Suites that was built on top of this garage. So we're currently on the east side of the garage, and you can see here it's just kind of got some dumpsters and the side to the Hampton, and there's not really a whole lot to see, but there is this nice walkway. There's also an entrance to one of the staircases, and this is the staircase at the southeast corner. And here you can see the southeast corner. It looks like there should be an elevator there, but there's not. And on the back it looks just like a normal parking garage, but with a hotel slapped on the top. We're now walking up to the garage on the southwest side, and you can clearly see the little overpass bridge, which goes over to the SunTrust Bank building. Over here on the west side of the garage, this is where the entrance is. This is obviously where you would drive your car in, so you have to go down a small little alleyway to get to the entrance. The side of the garage isn't anything spectacular. It looks just like your standard parking garage, obviously with a hotel slot on top. So now we will enter the garage through the most common entrance, and this is right on the front on Church Avenue. Let me see, it says the Market Garage. And this is probably a familiar sight to most elevator enthusiasts. You see the ramp on the left and the elevator on the right. So let's take a ride on the elevator. Now before we go back downstairs, we're going to get off here on the 6th floor, and this was the former roof. We're going to take a quick look down the stairwell on this side. Now this is the northwest corner of the garage, where this elevator and stairs are. And if we open up the door, you can see the stairwell, and it goes up. And that's because up goes to the Hampton, and then down obviously goes down to the street. At the top of these stairs is floor seven, and you'll see there's a door. Now, unfortunately, we can't go in here, obviously, because this is the hotel. You would have to use your key card to get in. There's the reader right there. And if we look inside, there's some stairs that go up even further. And that goes to the rest of the hotel. So we're just gonna warp down to the second floor in this stairwell real quick to take a look at what it looks like down on the bottom, because it's just a normal stairwell, so there's not a whole lot to see in between floors. But here at the bottom, you can see how it enters the little lobby with the ramp on the side. So now we're gonna jump back up to the sixth floor. A little time warp here, but that's okay. We're back here at the elevator. So let's ride this thing down to the bottom.
So now let's head back onto the rest of the garage. And to do so, we need to walk up the ramp instead of the stairwell. So the stairs obviously on the right go up that stairwell on the northwest corner. But this little ramp goes up to this little door. And if you paid attention at the very beginning of the video, you actually saw this door already. You can see here it goes back outside to this little walkway, which goes across the west side of the garage. Immediately on the left, you'll notice a little section of parking. Now there's not a lot here because the lobby of the Hampton took up most of this space. So there's a few bits of parking left, but not a whole lot. Next, we have this little area for bicyclists, little bike rack along with some tools. Very handy if you're a cyclist. Here at the main entrance, we have our gates and payment system. You see here it is an automated pay station with a booth for manual payments. Over here is a little parking area for like a little dock for the SunTrust building. Over here on the right, there's just a little staircase that goes down to that little parking area. And we've got this single handicap stall. Now before we actually walk up the garage, we're going to take a look at the Franklin Road Elmwood Park stairwell. And this is the one in the southeast corner. And probably a lot of you have never actually seen in this staircase. There's the doorway that you saw at the beginning of the video. And down here, because this staircase is actually wider, there's some trash cans down here. Now remember this wide stairwell for later, because it'll be important. Now walking back out into the garage, we're gonna start walking up the ramp. So as for the traffic flow in this garage, in the center, you'll notice there is a two lane traffic, so cars can go both directions. And then at the very ends, it splits into two ways and you're forced to stay to the right. So if you're going up, you stay to the right. And if you're going down, you stay on the left side. So walking up on the right, you can see the elevator in the corner. And then here we are at the other side of the garage, walking up towards the second floor. So you can see how it kind of loops back around to the middle. And now we're in the center bit, which is two lanes again. And up here on the second floor, there's the main elevator. But this time we're gonna go to the left, we're gonna go the wrong way. Here you can see the other elevator, which is in a different position than the other one. Here up on three, we're gonna go up the correct way. There's the elevator again with a different color. And up here we have something a little bit different. You'll notice this thing. Now this is actually the elevator shaft for the elevators in the Hampton Hotel. So when you ride the elevator up to your room, you go past in the shaft here. And you may not know that that's the shaft because well, it doesn't say, but that's what it is. Here we are on the fourth floor, and obviously you've probably figured out already that each floor has a different color. This is kind of a bluish color. And here's what the garage looks like completely empty. And the fifth floor looks exactly the same, only a different color. And now we're arriving towards the top floor of the garage, which is floor number six. Now this used to be the former roof, but now we have a Hampton on top. Now I guess I really shouldn't say former rooftop because there still is a little bit here, a third of the garage that is not covered by the Hampton. It's this little section in the middle. And I think it looks pretty cool actually. And up here on the top, underneath the Hampton, you can see where the elevator and stairs are, the little brick, and that used to be a little enclosure for the elevator and stairs on the top. We also have a nice view. And over here on the north side, we have another view. You can see the Wells Fargo building. And again up here we also have some other things like the storm drains here. And you also notice on the ceiling there's the fire sprinklers. And here at the very top obviously we have the elevator shaft for the Hampton. And we have a couple more parking spaces. Imagine parking your car back here in this corner. 
but walking up to it, you can see down onto the fifth floor, and if they ever for some reason wanted to knock the Hampton down and build more parking, they could do so. And up here on the sixth floor on the south side of the garage, you can see it's a little bit more creepy because all the lights are off. This side of the garage also features a nice view of Mill Mountain and the star. Now another kind of interesting thing is on this floor only, on this corner stairwell, there's no paint on the brick, just the door. Now remember where the staircase I told you remember at the beginning of the video? Well now we're at the top of that staircase, and you can actually see how much bigger this stairwell is over the others. Obviously over here we have kind of the same view as we just saw before, but if we take a look down the staircase, you'll notice we can see all the way down, and we couldn't do that with the other stairwells. You can see all the trash cans down at the bottom. This corner could have actually had an elevator. It appears that it could have from the outside, but in reality it doesn't, and that's where that brick wall is. And now we're arriving at the other elevator, and obviously we can't come to the market garage without riding said elevator, but before we go ride the elevator, let's take a look into this staircase, and it's very similar to the one we saw before, up in the northwest side. Of course, this stairwell you can't see all the way down, but it does go up into the Hampton, And up here we have the same scenario with the key card reader to get into the Hampton. Obviously that is going to be locked and you would need your key to get in. And if you look through, there's the stairs that go up even further. So back down here on the sixth floor, I think it's time we ride the other elevator. So this time we're gonna go down to floor four, and you'll see why here in just a second. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, we saw the sky bridge that goes to the building next door. Well, this is where the sky bridge is. If you look across, you can see into the building. So let's ride the elevator all the way down to the ground.
that's going to conclude our tour through the market parking garage here in Roanoke, Virginia. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a little bit more in-depth look at this garage, more than just the elevators that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.